playmaking right now in the fourth quarter is kind of interesting. I think everybody's going to wait and see how the year turns out. Everybody expects the fourth quarter is going to be bad. But I would tell you there's optimism going into 2009, and the biggest companies in the world are trying to figure out how to take advantage of this market. So people have all the chess boards out. They're trying to figure out what deals they'd like to do. If something moves, they're going to react. And if it doesn't move, I think they're going to instigate as we look in the, into the first quarter, most likely. The other stat that's very interesting is the biggest companies have way more cash than they have debt, and they're looking at that firepower as a huge opportunity. And because this wasn't a tech-driven downside, they, they, they think their opportunity to move ahead with their shareholders is actually quite positive. Now, you guys did the HPEDS deal, and you said an interesting thing, how hardware and software are coming together. Are we going to see a lot of more deals that maybe we wouldn't expect, given the types of technology that these companies are involved in? Yeah, so just look at the world of virtualization. We, we use the word virtualization a lot because it means many things, but the idea that you need a computer in front of you to access the World Wide Web and to do things is increasingly less true. It can be in the cloud, cloud computing, etc. So that means that any company can compete for compute time, they can become a software company, software as a service, and so when you look at dollars and budgets, all of the big guys are looking at each other and figuring out how can they get in the other guy's business and attract more of the budget. And for the big companies who are the buyers, what advice would you give to the small companies who maybe want to be bought or want to survive, um, want to make sure that they make it through the turmoil? Right, so, so when, when the big guys compete, they're focused at macro level issues and it leaves a lot of the underbrush available and it's very profitable stuff. So I think you've got to be forward thinking. You can't rely on a standard model that worked over the last decade. You've got to figure out where the big guys are going, stay out of their way and take advantage of it. Okay, Mark, thanks a bunch. Thank you.